Well, good day. I am so excited you're listening in today. And this is our third pay setters video. And today we are talking about a couple things that are so important. We are talking about the power of the party and recruiting. And that is two things that are very, very important. So for power of the party, I'm actually going to refer you to an amazing training done by national sales director, Kelly McCarroll. She's absolutely incredible and amazing. And she is doing, she has a video recording that's actually on my website about the power party. And Kelly McCarroll developed the power party. It's really incredible and very powerful. It helps you get everything done at the party. Um, there is also another audio training from me on how to do a party and a video of me doing one. So I'm gonna refer you to those. I'm not gonna repeat that here, but they are very, very great resources. And when you're doing a party, there are four, well, five things really that you are looking for. And in this order, the number one thing you are looking for at a party are new leaders to bring into Mary Kay. You want women who wanna sign up and who wanna be leaders in this business because Mary Kay needs leaders to bring us into our second 50 years as a company. The second thing you're looking for are new team members. You want other women who wanna sign up and join this company, maybe they just wanna make a little bit of extra money, it may not be a ton, and they may not wanna be a leader, but they wanna make some extra money. The third thing you are looking for are bookings, and you wanna get more bookings from that appointment so you have a lot on your books. The fourth thing you are looking for are referrals, and you absolutely definitely wanna get referrals and meet some new women um, so you can meet some new women to book other appointments with. And the fifth thing you're looking for in order is sales. So the first thing are the leaders, the new consultants, the leaders which are new consultants, but they will be leaders. Then the new consultants, the bookings, the referrals, and the sales. Sales are last. You want sales and you're gonna sell product, absolutely. But you know what? You've gotta, we, to ensure the future of our company, we need leaders. And so you wanna find those leaders at your parties. Mary Kay Incorporated says right now that there's one new sales director at every party. And so you wanna find her and you wanna figure out who she is. And she is the woman who is really, really sharp and together. And she's probably pretty engaged with you when you're sharing facts about Mary Kay. Um, she's probably looking at you and has pretty good eye contact or she's very successful at whatever else she does. So your number one focus is you want the women who are very sharp and successful. They look like they've got it together and they are, they are very successful at whatever else they are doing. And they may be looking for something more, but the women who are sharp and who are very successful, the women you want. You want the women who intimidate you. You want the women who've got their stuff together, but maybe they're just looking for more. Those are the people you really want to get at from your parties. Now, the... Um, the other thing that you're going to be looking for are just women who, there, some of them may be obvious that they're looking for and they may openly say that, but you want to pick at least two people from every party um, to share more facts with about how Mary Kate works. And y'all, that is really simple um, to ask them. You can ask them to do a marketing call if you're not comfortable just closing them on the spot. Um, but you do always want to share the facts of Mary Kay, and then when you finish, the conversation just kind of goes like this. You know, Sally, I don't know if this is anything you would ever do or not. I've actually made a decision to give myself a promotion in my business, and I'm specifically looking for really sharp women who may want to do this, and I need to get the opinion of 10 of the sharpest women I meet. And I would truly value your opinion. And the next part is when you're either going to ask her if you can ask her some questions to close her out, or if you can ask her um, to do a marketing call. So if you do a marketing call, the script is on the site, it basically says, you know, I need to have 10 of the sharpest women I know that I meet at my parties. Listen to this call. All you do is listen. Um, it's going to share some really quick facts about Mary Kay, and then I just follow up with you and get your opinion about it, ask you a few quick questions. Is there, can, you, can I count on you to be one of my 10? Can you listen for me? And she'll probably say, well, sure. Say, great. Thank you so much. Can you listen tonight? It's up tonight. You can call on your way home. It's a pretty, you know, it's about 15, 20 minute call. Really good story. And then I'll just follow up with you tomorrow and ask you a few questions. Or my sales director will follow up with you tomorrow and ask you a few questions. Very simple. Ask her to call tonight on the way home. She's got to drive home anyway. It's not a big deal. So I'm also going to give you some other questions that are going to be, um, in addition to this, they're going to be typed up and on the site, some questions you can ask her when you close. And it's really great to get in the habit of asking these questions. So and you can just ask her, can I ask you a few quick questions about how Mary Kay works? It may or may not be for you, but I'd love your opinion. And she'll probably say, well, sure, you can ask. And then you ask her to tell me a little bit about you. 
and she's going to tell you what makes her heart beat, what her purpose is, what she really loves. You may have to help her with that. Tell me what brings you joy, and that is her purpose and her passion in life. Tell me about a time that you really felt proud of yourself, and tell me why you enjoyed that experience. And that is something that is going to tell you what makes her thrive, what gives her, what makes her tick, what gives her that win, and why does she love it. And then the last question you ask her is, tell me, if you could fast forward your life to a year from today and you could be living any dream with time or money being no object, what would it be? And this is where you're going to see her possibilities. This is where you're going to see if she's dreaming, if she's got big dreams, if she has things she's really looking forward to. And you're going to hear a lot of courage in what she says. If she's got courage and if she's really ready to move in Mary Kay, you're going to hear it when she says this. And this is also where you're going to determine if she doesn't have any dreams. And if she doesn't have any dreams, if she doesn't have anything she wants in her life, you need to know that. Because in Mary Kay, we are looking for women who are looking for more and who are willing to learn and willing to work. And if she's not looking for more, then that's a really big, important thing to know. So you want women who are looking for more. So after she says that, you're going to close her out. And this is how you're going to close her. She's either going to, during that process, she's going to say, well, I don't want to be Mary Kay because of whatever reason. It's not her saying she doesn't want to do it. It's her saying she doesn't think she can do it because of that reason. So maybe she's going to say, I work 60 hours a week. I don't know if I can fit it on my schedule. She may not think it's possible. Maybe she's saying, you know, my family is really important to me. She doesn't, maybe she doesn't think it's possible to work it around her family. So your job is to assure her that it's fine because it is. And so how that goes is you say, well, you know what? Thank you for telling me that. And honestly, I would absolutely love to work with you and tell you when I tell her where you're going. We have one of the top teams in all of Mary Kay, and we are going straight to the top of this company. And we are looking for women of excellence who are looking for more in their lives and who are willing to learn and willing to work. And I would love to work with you. I think you'd be so great at this. So let me ask you, if I were to teach you how to work this around your family or whatever, whatever the objection was, if I were to teach you how to work this around your schedule and how to work this around your family and how to do everything about it, how to book the appointments, how to do everything about it, how to make the money so that you could have whatever her dream was. So you could have the extra money to be debt free or the extra money to take your family on the vacation you've always wanted to or to be able to pay for your children's education. You say whatever her dream was and that's blank. So if I were to teach you how to overcome objection so that you could have, insert dream here, is that something that you would be willing to learn how to do? She's going to say yes or no. She's saying yes or no to her dream, not to you. And if she says yes, you say, great. I would absolutely love to work with you. If you get started today, you actually get a free gift. Is there any reason why we can't get you started right now? And she'll either say yes or no, whatever. And then you can talk to her from that point. If she does not end up signing up, you can tell her, you know what? I got a great idea. Why don't you listen to this call? I actually need to get the opinion of 10 sharp women, like I said, and you have 10 women call in. Call this number on the way home tonight. You can get the rest of the information, um, and my sales director will follow up with you first thing in the morning. Is that okay? She'll probably say yes. So ideally, you can sign her up right then on the spot. It's not a big deal. It's a $100 decision. It's not gonna, the $100 is not going to change your life. It's not going to change your financial situation, but it could change your life. And if she doesn't sign up, that's when you get her on the marketing call. And that's a really great way to close people at the parties. The other thing I want to mention to you is just how to do referrals. It is so important to get referrals at the party. And so you want to have some kind of system on, on the Paysetters form. There's actually on my lead sheet, there's going to be a tic-tac-toe sheet, which is where you can have them fill it in. You can even just use a blank piece of paper. Um, we have a new profile sheet that has a space for their, them to list their referrals. So what you want to do for them, for you to get them to give you referrals, you need to act like it's not a big deal, for you to be fun, and for you to not be weird. <laughs> I know that's funny, but if you're honest and sweet, they're, they're going to be fine with it. And if you just act with confidence. So whatever you're doing, um, before you do referrals, so I usually get, have them get their phone when they're either at the beginning of the party or when they're doing mascara or lip gloss because there's a little bit of a pause there. Say, okay, great. Get your phone because we're going to play a game in just a second. And then when it's time for referrals, you say, okay, great. Now we're going to play another quick game. And this is actually a way you can give me a really big compliment. I work 100% in your referrals. So if you like the facial and you nod and smile, and you think your girlfriends would like it too, you can refer me to any adult girlfriend who has a face who you think would like a facial as well. So here's how that works. All we do is we um, pick a time that 
you know, I can either offer them a facial, I can either call them and offer them a facial, or you can invite them over for your follow-up. It is totally up to you. You don't even have to tell me right now. This is just kind of you getting your thoughts together. So here's how it goes. If you get to 10 ladies, you get whatever, one color item of your choice, 25% off. Just their name and number, and if you get to 20, you get it half price, which is really great. So just their name and number, any adult females with faces, I'm gonna time you, you have three minutes. Ready, set, go! So that's literally what I say. You can do the tic-tac-toe, you can do whatever you want, but it's the confidence in which you say it. Because that was like, oh, this is gonna be so great. Ready, set, go. If I say, well, you know, if you think, maybe if you can bring me some friends, if you give me their number, if you don't mind, they're not gonna do it. But if you're like, oh, it's gonna be great, I can either offer them a facial or you can invite them over, it doesn't matter to me, you get to decide. It's not a big deal. And if you make it not a big deal, they're gonna, they're gonna be fine with it. So that's how you get referrals. And you wanna plan that in the middle of the party. So I normally do right after their makeup. So they just did their skincare, and they just did their mascara and lip gloss. And I say, oh my goodness, don't you feel great? Touch your face, doesn't it feel good? And they're gonna say, oh yeah, it feels fabulous. And they say, great, I'm so excited. Um, and now you go right into referrals right from that point. So, and you have it scheduled and you time it. You only give them three minutes and you want them to race because you don't want them to be sitting there for 20 minutes doing it. You really don't have a lot of time. If you do it at the end, you're not gonna get as any referrals. You need to do it in the middle. Okay, and then the last thing that we wanna talk about tonight is I wanna go over how you close somebody individually. So how to close somebody individually, there's actually a script on my website, but there are a couple questions you wanna ask them. So I'm gonna pretend that you are a person that I'm closing. And so I'm gonna talk right to you and I'm gonna just, you can kind of fill in the blanks. So it is very important to close individually. Tell people at the beginning of the party you will be closing individually. Tell them you have the product on hand. And then at the end of the party you say, great, so we're gonna um, close individually. So whenever you're finished, whoever wants to go first, if you have to leave early, I'm just gonna sit over on the couch. We'll just, you know, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions about what you liked. And first come, first serve, I do have product on hand, so whoever comes first is going to get first dibs at it, which is really great. And then, and if they say, oh, we're fine, you say, you know what, I'm sure y'all would be totally fine to, to do it together. But part of my job is, to, I, I, part of my training says I have to close individually, so if you could, just to help me out, that would be great. Just blame it on your training, you do need to close individually. So she's going to come over and you say, oh, wonderful, thank you so much, Sally, did you have a good time tonight? And smile at her and she'll say, oh yeah, I had a great time. Oh, awesome, what's your favorite part? And she's gonna say something off the wall, like, oh, I just love being away from the kids, or I love the fellowship, or whatever. You say, great. Well, let me ask you, and you pull out your placemat, and you've got your sheets there, and you have a skincare set. So let me ask you, and you point to the skincare. What of these skincare sets did you like the best? And, she's gonna, and she might even say, oh, I like the set in hands. Oh, great, I'm so glad you like that. Now, what are the skincare sets? And you're pointing to the facial skincare, so you're pointing to the basic set, the miracle set, the Ultimate Miracle Set and the Time Measure Pair Set. So you're pointing to those. And she's gonna say, oh, I really love the Miracle Set. Awesome, that is so great. You know, I always recommend starting with skincare because you're gonna like everything so much better because it gives you such a great foundation. But is that something you wanted to start with? She's gonna say yes or no, whatever. Um, she says yes. She says yes, oh great, I'm so glad. So you write it down. Now did you wanna do the dash at the door look we did as well and they said you like that? Yes or no. If she says if she says yes, you just keep adding to it. If she says no, you say okay, good. Now, were you did you need mascara, eye makeup remover? Because those are things that people always forget. Mascara, eye makeup remover, eyeliner, and lip gloss are the things that they always come to get that they forget about. And if she'll say yes or no, you'll know when she's done. She'll say no, 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 I'm good. You say great, that's wonderful. And you add it up, and you say okay, great. So I've got your miracle set and your mascara, and that's your central tax in total. If that looks okay, if you could sign here at the X. And then, um, how did you want to pay for that? And don't let her leave. She says, oh, I gotta go get my purse. Say, oh, that's fine, we'll get that in just a second. Now, let's say she said she liked the Miracle Set, and, uh, but she said she didn't want to get it today. You help her break it down. So you say, okay, great, that, that's fine. Just so you know, I do cash, check, and charge. If you offer a split payment or whatever, you can say that too. Um, and then you can also tell her, you know what? Um, does that make it easier for you? She'll say yes or no. Well, you know what, you can also break it up into smaller pieces. So we have a basic set, which is just your cleanser, moisturizer, and that's just 40. We also have a trial version of the Miracle Set, which is only 44. Does one of the, is one of those more comfortable for you? Yes or no, just keep breaking it down until she's comfortable. As soon as she's comfortable, then keep adding back stuff back on. So, okay, great, did you wanna get the mascara and the eye makeup remover as well? So that's the sale. So then you close the sale, 
And then wonderful. Now, earlier, you already talked to her about her follow-up. You've already mentioned follow-up during the party. I explained that on the other training. So wonderful. Well, let's go ahead and set up a time for your follow-up. Um, are you available? You just offer her dates. I could do Wednesday evening of next week, Friday night, or Saturday morning. Does one of those work? No. Okay, well, I, I can do Saturday afternoon, Sunday night, or Monday, or whatever times you got. Offer her two to three at a time until she picks one. So two to three at a time until she picks. So don't say, when's good for you? That does not work. Offer her two to three at a time until she picks one. Because if you say when's good for you, she's going to say, well, I got to check the schedule. It's crazy. And I got all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. She needs to be able to, um, she needs to be able to do it herself. So, or she needs to be able to pick a date that you're offering her. And then as soon as she picks, say, wonderful. I'm so looking forward to that. Now, I know you mentioned earlier that you wanted to have some girlfriends come with you. And she didn't mention that earlier. You're going to say, great. Is there any reason why you can't have a couple girlfriends come with you so you can get some of the other products you wanted today for free? She'll probably say, well, sure. Well, I'll check. Wonderful. That, that, that sounds so great. Thank you. And then right then, at that moment, is when you ask her about the marketing. Say, you know what, Sally? I don't know if this is anything you would ever consider, but I think you'd be so great at Mary Kay. And I would so love to get your opinion. And I already went over how to do that. So that's the close. You do that with every single person. Now, when you're doing the marketing and you do those closing questions, you don't tell everybody you think they'd be great. Be honest. If you think she'd be great, tell her that. If you don't, just ask her. You get to pick who you work with. You want the sharp, intimidating women who are already successful at something. You want them. You want women who want more. If she hated the facial, which I really doubt, but if she didn't like the skincare and she was really rude or hateful, then don't ask her. You get to pick who you work with. That's great. So um, you do definitely want to pick at least two women to follow up with, two women to have on that call. And y'all, that is all the training I have for you tonight. Um, a lot of the training is going to be on that audio training for the Power Party, which is on my website, which is rachelnaylor.com or the video training for the party. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this has been helpful. Um, your, your handouts are also going to be on rachelnaylor.com under Pace Setters. Have a great evening.